भारत ने आज अपना नाम अंतरिक्ष महाशक्ति स्पेस पावर के रूप में दर्ज करा दिया है इट इज एब्सोल्युटली ट्रू दैट इंटेंशनली क्रिएटिंग ऑर्बिटल डिब्री फील्ड्स इज नॉट कंपैटिबल विद ह्यूमन स्पेस फ्लाइट Here's what we know about the most recent direct ascent anti-satellite test that was done by India. We know that we have identified 400 pieces of orbital debris from that one event. That's what's been identified. Now all of that cannot be tracked. What we are tracking right now, objects big enough to track, we're talking about 10 centimeters or bigger. About about 60 pieces have been tracked. In other words, they've got a tracking number and and we're able to keep keep up with where they are. Of those 60, we know that 24 of them are going above the apogee of the International Space Station. That is a terrible terrible thing to create an event that sends debris in an apogee that goes above the International Space Station. And that kind of activity is not compatible with the future of human space flight that we need to see have happen. The risk to the International Space Station was increased by 44%. The risk and the, I'm talking about small debris impact to the International Space Station, the risk went up 44% over a period of 10 days. So the good thing is it's low enough in earth orbit that over time this will all dissipate. While the risk went up 44%, our astronauts are still safe. The International Space Station is still safe. if we need to maneuver it we will the probability of that i think is low but at the end of the day we have we have to be clear also that these activities are not sustainable or compatible with human space flight